I'm Judy Shaw for NYC Floor Talk. Joining me today is Michael Quigley. He is co-founder and president at Impel. Michael, great to see you again. Thanks great to be back, Judy. Thanks for having me. <laughs> My pleasure. Now, I'm looking forward to chatting, but before I do that, just a quick note to our viewers. This interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSC doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. All right, so Michael, chat GPT and generative AI seem to be everywhere these days, as we know, topic of conversation everywhere you go. Um, what impact will it have on consumers and the business world? And is ChatGPT going to put us all out of a job? Great question. <laughs> well, you're absolutely right. ChatGPT and generative AI are certainly on the tips of everyone's tongues these days. And um, you know, I, I don't think we can underestimate the magnitude of this innovation. I, to my mind, um, generative AI is on par with you know, the development of the personal computer. I think, you know, obviously, we have one today on a personal computer on everyone's desk in one's pocket in a, with an iPhone. And I think generative AI is going to have a similar impact on our day-to-day -day lives. And, and yes, we'll probably also cause some reallocations within the labor market. You know, for instance, the computer displays you know, jobs like telephone operators. You know, I think they're probably around the fringes. There will be some changes um, as well based on you know, what generative AI is, is bringing to the table. Um, and to be clear, generative AI has been around for a few years. ChatGBT is, you know, much newer and has really captured the zeitgeist. And um, you know, we've been investing in generative AI for a couple of years now, but what ChatGPT has done is it has really accelerated uh, the deployment of generative AI solutions into different verticals. So in our case, our solutions obviously you know, drive forward you know, online car shopping um, is one use case, servicing one's vehicle as well. And uh, we're seeing ChatGPT power a host of these you know, solutions in other verticals. Uh, but beyond ChatGPT, you really need to you know, develop large language models and develop a host of integrations you know, throughout one's ecosystem. So a lot more goes into deploying an AI product than just ChatGPT, but it certainly makes it a lot easier. Okay, so now tell me, where do you see AI having the greatest impact in the automotive industry? Great question. So I, I think about this two ways. So first, from the perspective of retailers, I see it improving efficiency for car dealerships dramatically. Um, you know, the days of sitting on hold for minutes you know, with an agent are, are gone. You're going to be able to have your answer, questions answered you know, virtually immediately. And from the consumer's perspective, um, you're going to be able to interact with a virtual agent who has you know, nearly total recall to any question you could possibly ask. Um, so from that perspective, um, you know, I, I think customer experience is going to dramatically improve on the retailer side. And then on the manufacturer side, I think brands are going to see you know, a lot more compliance with their, their standards. And um, you know, in turn, are actually going to be able to generate really interesting learnings from the types of questions that consumers ask them, and I think potentially do product planning on that basis that ultimately deliver you know, better solutions to consumers down the road. All right, now tell me, Michael, how does your latest product, Chat AI, complement your existing AI suite, and why is it different than existing chat offerings? Yeah, so this this chat-based solution, web-based solution, is really one that our customers begged us for. So we've um, you know, had asynchronous or you know, text message, email-based AI solutions for a couple of years now, and synchronous or, or real-time solutions, really a natural extension of that. Um, so we really got pulled in this direction by our customers, and unfortunately, we had the benefit of a couple of years worth of data. So we have nearly 100 million plus conversations between consumers and car dealerships, car manufacturers that we're able to analyze to in turn create much higher efficacy, you know, answers and you know results for our consumers. So on the basis of all that, you know, Chat AI has been our fastest growing product in, in company history. And if you shop for a car recently, there's actually a fairly good chance you've interacted with our AI without even knowing it. All right. Well Michael, wonderful to have you back on Floor Talk. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Judy. It was great being here.